math video and I am like so late with this video but we are testing on it tomorrow so I'm studying right now so I was like let me just record this really quick for you guys just to show you a couple examples of pediatric dosage calculation problems okay so basically for the pediatric dosage calculations you always have to um, divide the body so you have to always divide the pounds by the um, 2.2 which is gonna give you uh, kilograms okay so I'm gonna show you guys the conversion up here so 10 kilograms basically it's 22 pounds divided by 2 equals 10 kilograms 10 kilograms times 2.2 is 22 pounds okay that's how you get back and forth but 2.2 is what you always divide by to get the kilograms okay so let's just go over a sample problem um, and then we'll go over some problems here so the patient is 25 pounds, so we divide it by 2.2, giving you 11.36 kilograms. You guys do not want to round to the nearest tenth until you get to the end, okay? You can leave it at that. Um, the doctor orders 2 milligrams over uh, 1 kilogram of body weight, and the child is um, 9 pounds. So... Basically, this is like an example of how you convert it, okay? All right, so now I'm going to do the problem. So this is the order right here. So 9 pounds divided by 2.2 is 4.09 kilograms times 2 milligrams, because we have the order right here, 2, gives you 8.18 milligrams. Available, we have drug A, 5 milligrams over 2 milliliters. So you're gonna then you're going to set it up the way it normally will be set up right I told you guys this is the basic formula so as long as you guys know the basic formula you're gonna always get the answer but you have to solve these two steps have to be done first so you always want to divide the pounds by the 2.2 get the kilograms times it times the order and then you're gonna get this now and then here's your available okay so if you guys don't know the basic formula you I'll um, link my those calculations video down below and you guys can refer back to that before you watch continue watching this video all right so 8.8 .8 milligrams times two milliliters because that's what we have two milliliters right here over the five milligrams so this is the available okay times oh equals x then so we're going to multiply 8.18 times two equals 16.36 over the five so then we'll divide and it's going to be x equals 3.272 you have to round to the nearest tenth. So because the seven is after the two, you guys know anything five and above is gonna round up this number. So because the seven is after the two, this becomes 3.3 .3 milliliters, and that is your answer. So it is um, a couple more steps in order to do the pediatric math, but let me show you guys a couple more examples here that I've already done. All right, so let me just show you guys here. So the order is five milligrams of drug A per Kilogram of body weight. Uh, the toddler weighs 33 pounds. Available, we have drug A, 100 milligrams over one milliliter. So that means 100 milligrams per milliliter. Um, what should the nurse administer? So 33 pounds, we have to divide that, remember, by the 2.2. So we get 15 kilograms times the five milliliters. Sorry, it's, not, it's supposed to be milligrams, sorry. I'm just saying, like, what? Okay, milligrams. So 75 milligrams. And um, so then we're going to bring it over. 75 milligrams times 1 ml because this is only 1, right? And then 100 milligrams. So 75 divided by 100 is going to give you 0 0.8 milliliters. Okay? And I'm going to show you guys one more problem. If you guys have any questions, you can leave a comment down below. All right, so next problem is, um, and then I'll, sh I'll just do this. If you guys want to write down the next two problems, you can, but I'm not going to go over those. But um, you guys can pause it here if you want to write down those problems. But anyway, so uh, drug B, 3 milligrams per um, kilogram of body weight. The child weighs 66 pounds. Available, we have drug B in suspension labeled 6 milligrams over 1 milliliter. So we're going to divide the 66 pounds divided by 2.2. It gives you 30 
kilograms times the three milligrams, which is our order, right? So that's 90 milligrams. Move on to the next step. 90 milligrams times one milliliter, because again, this is going over one, six milligrams. You guys know if this was a different, um, like grams or anything, you would have to convert this to milligrams or convert this to grams, okay? So just remember that. It's not gonna always be this simple. If, you, if these are different, you have to convert them. Again, refer back to the previous um, dosage calculations video if you guys don't know the basic formula. So 90 divided by six is gonna give you 15 milliliters. Now I wanna go over, I'm trying to see if there's one that says like per dose, that's per dose. Okay, so this, let's look at this one right here because this one is a little different, is it? Let me see. So five milligrams, kilograms a day, every six hours. Yes, so, okay. So basically it already gave you the information here so you didn't have to divide for the weight. So 40 kilograms, which would have been our weight, right? Because we, for some reason this problem already gave you the things. It already converted into kilograms, so we didn't have to divide by the 2.2. So 40 kilograms times the five, because that's the order, gives you 200 milligrams, okay? 200 milligrams times five, because again, this is the available, five milliliters, over 100. So that's 1,000 over 100, so that's gonna be 10. And then because they want to know per dose, we can't just solve for the 10. We It's every six hours, okay? So every six hours, that's going to be four times a day. So then we have to divide that 10 divided by four, and it's going to give you 2.5 milliliters. So that's per dose. This is The 10 is per day. The 2.5 is per dose. Four doses per day would equal 10. All right, so that is a different type of problem. So I'll let you, I'll hold it here for you guys if you want to pause that and take down notes. So that's as complicated as it will get with pediatrics. Um, there is a different type of problem that we're going to be testing on, and I'll go over that once that test comes up. But this is pediatric math, you guys. Again, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below. If you guys have not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I do basically um, different videos about nursing school here. Um, and just to help you guys out and just show my journey and where I am in the program. Um, so yeah, you guys, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.